Thank you very much for joining me today on this beautiful day. What a bloody beautiful day it is. Well, I'm out on the Mighty Tiger today. And uh, just a quick video, just to give you an update where we are and what uh, what we've added next to the uh, to the Tiger to make it into the adventure bike that I want it to be. And obviously anybody that's new to this channel, first time you've clicked on one of these videos, I've bought a Tiger 900 Rally and it's basically a blank canvas. I, I want to add uh, accessories to this bike without actually breaking the budget. I think there's better quality parts out there than, than a lot of the OE Triumph parts that you can buy out the catalogue. So the, uh, the next thing on my hit list was uh, an half decent top box. And yes, I know it's not a Givy Trekker. <laughs> I'd love a Givy Trekker, but the bank balance says no, no, no. And uh, my wife's got a Givy Trekker um, top box on her 800 Tiger. And I gotta say the quality of it is absolutely beautiful, but I just can't afford one. So like I said, it was all about trying to find parts that I could find for this bike to make the adventure bike that I want it to be without breaking the bank. And uh, I've got to say, I'm really impressed with this box. For 98 quid, yes, 98 quid I paid for this box, I think it's outstanding. I didn't want uh, uh, just a cheap uh, round top box like your Shard or, or the, 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 the Givy boxes that are quite cheap. Uh, I just don't think it fits with the style of this bike. The actual Givy Trekker style really does suit the adventure bike and i love the look of it <laughs> like i said unfortunately i just can't afford one so i found this one on a app called aliexpress that a friend of mine told me to have a look at and i was a bit dubious i was like yeah they're gonna pay for this and this is never gonna turn up and when it does it's gonna be made out of cardboard but you know what i'm quite impressed uh it came within five days of paying for it. And like I say, it was 98 quid all in. That was shipping taxes, the lot. I could have had an aluminium one for an extra 50 quid. But you know what? I thought, I'm taking a bit of a risk. I don't know if, uh, like I say, if this product will turn up at all. So I spent the 98 quid. And I've got to say, I was quite impressed when it came. It did come with everything from the fixing plate to the, uh, the pads for the back and a nice liner inside. The, the, the rails that came with it to fit it, yeah, you know, they would have been better to fit it to something like the monkey bike that has uh, the, the metal rack on the back. For me, the fitting uh, just wasn't ideal for this bike. So I did a little bit of an upgrade. So I bought a Kappa Givy KR615, a specific rear rack for a Triumph Tiger 900. Paid £35.50 for it. It actually made fitting this box an absolute delight. As you can see, I fitted this base plate first. You just take out the existing bolts that the Triumph were already put in there and you basically just replace it with the bolts that came with the capper. Fitted that, fitted the base plate, the box snapped straight on. And I've got to say, I am really impressed with the outcome. Yeah, so like I say, it's not the quality of a, a Givy or the Trekker box, but I actually love the style of it, the look of it. And uh, do you know what? For 98 quid, I don't think you can go wrong. I'll obviously uh, keep you informed with a long-term review. This has done about 100 miles now, bouncing around the lanes. I've been uh, using it for work. Uh, it hasn't come off yet, so that's always a bonus. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's fully lockable, come with two keys. And uh, came with a, a lovely liner in it, which I think will help stop things wrapping around the, uh, the plastic part of it. You know, and for a cheap top box, I don't think you can go wrong. And I think it actually, uh, it really complements the bike and the, the style of the adventure bike. And like I say, yeah, again, it's not a Givy Trekker. And if you want to donate one to me and give one to me, I'll be happy to take it off your hands and I'll fit it to this bike. And I'll put this one on the monkey. I'll put this one on the mighty monkey. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen, so this box is staying. So yeah, that's another one ticked off the list. So we've got the heat crash bars now that I absolutely love. We have our Trekker style uh, top box, which I really think complements the look of the bike. And it's slowly coming together as the adventure bike I want it to be. There's a few more things to go on. I've got a lovely set of spotlights that uh, I'm going to fit um, in the next couple of days. A little gizmo to go under the seat. That's one to come back and have a look at. I'm really impressed with that. So I've got some pannier rails coming and a soft luggage system. 
on a budget. As I say, with this bike, I spent every penny I could to get the best bike I could for my money. And I think with the, the Tiger 900, I really did that. And it being a blank canvas, I want it to look good, be very functional as an adventure bike, to do a lot of touring on, and it's coming together. But I want to do that on a budget. I don't think you should have to spend an absolute fortune on branded items or OE catalog items from, from people like Triumph. There are, there, there are quality parts out there for your bikes that you can fit, and that's pretty much what this bike is all about. So that's all coming. Hopefully, it'll all come together for its first adventure weekend, which is the ABR. Oh, I can't wait for the ABR. This is gonna be a cracking weekend. It's probably the best motorcycle festival I've ever been to in my life. And uh, absolutely enjoyed last year. So if you're at the ABR, come say hello. I'll be on the Heelite air vest stand as I'm an ambassador for Heelite. They sent me a box this week. Oh, that's an unboxing video coming your way. And it's, um, it's an item uh, and a piece of safety kit that I've got to say, I'm excited about. I think it's a game changer for the airbag industry, um, pretty much to change the mindset of a lot of people that think air vests are not cool or not cool to be seen in. So yeah, come back for that one. So yeah, I'm on the Heelite stand because I'm a Heelite ambassador and uh, I don't get paid by them. I took a one-off payment. They saved my life in 2018 and I'll be forever grateful to that company because they really did. And uh, that's another video coming. So yeah, there are things to come on the channel. Obviously, buddy's at home today, he's sunbathing. I'm on my way to work now. And uh, thank you very much for joining us today. And there you have it. Tiger 900 Rally, what a beautiful bike. So, as ever, I'm out of here. I hope this uh, video has uh, been informative and it's been an enjoyable watch. If so, give us a big thumbs up. Show us some love, give us a sub. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, on that note, I'm out of here. You stay safe out there. Live your best life.